Hi guys, welcome back to Talk with AK and my name is and will always be Akosia underscore the news. Today we are going to talk about something very important, something very interesting yet educative to women especially. We are going to talk about bacterial vaginosis. In this video, I'm going to explain what bacterial vaginosis is, the treatments, the causes, risk factors, prevention, and of course the complications. So please stick with me, I'll be right back. So in recent times, we see a lot of women buying chemical products with the excuse of trying to keep their vagina tight and trying to clean their vagina. But then one thing we don't know or one thing we forget is the vagina is self-cleansing and elastic, which means it can be as wide as you want it to be, but definitely with time, it comes back to normal. And it cleanses itself perfectly well and also we forget that the vagina has its normal flora so it is normal for a woman of reproductive age to have one or two abnormal scents for some few period of days it is very very normal but what is abnormal is it shouldn't smell like fish it shouldn't smell like fish that's is why we are talking about bacterial vaginosis today. So the bacterial vaginosis is a vaginal inflammation caused by the overgrowth of bacteria in the vagina, which means there's already bacteria in the vagina, but then when there's an overgrowth, that is where the bacterial vaginosis comes inside. And the type of bacteria that is in the vagina is the gene vaginalis so how would you know if you have um, the bv there are different signs and symptoms when it comes to vaginal infections especially and these signs and symptoms are very similar so you might mistake this for that and that for this so these are the signs and symptoms for bv one vaginal odor that means the vagina really smells like fish as i said earlier it smells like fish and there's this thin white or thin gray or thin green vaginal discharge there's itching there's burning sensation when you urinate so these are some of the signs and symptoms you have when you have bv and to the causes, as I said earlier, it is caused by the overgrowth of several bacteria. So when there's too much bacteria inside the vagina, you get BV. Okay. And also it can be caused by too much hair, especially those of us who don't like shaving. As we all know, bacteria multiply in moist. They like warm places and they like um, places that are moist. So if there's hair, obviously there's heat. So it makes them multiply. So one, overgrowth of the bacteria. Two, too much hair or too much moist. So with BV, there are a lot of risk factors. First risk factor I'll talk about is um, women with multiple sex partners or women with new sex partners. Women who like duty. When I talk of duty, women that like flushing out their vagina with either water or chemicals or even soap. And women of reproductive age, smoking, women that smoke are all exposed to bacterial vaginosis. Firstly, the first thing you would think about as treatment for BV is good vaginal hygiene. That should be your number one priority. You should always keep your vagina clean and dry, especially clean and dry. And also it can be treated with antibiotics depending on your doctor's protocol. So BV doesn't really have a complicated treatment. The only treatment you might have is, as I've stated earlier, is the antibiotics your doctor may have prescribed for you and maintaining proper vaginal hygiene. Let's get into the preventive measures.
The preventive measures are basically things she would have to do to prevent getting leukemia. And these things are, you would have to wash your vagina with only water or very, very mild soap. Prevent or avoid having multiple sexual partners. But if you do, make sure you use protection. Wipe your vagina from front to back and not from back to front. Avoid douching. These complications are if you are pregnant and you have bacterial vaginosis, you might end up having a preterm baby, which means you might end up delivering before you are due. And the next one is STI. Because your vagina is already inflamed, you are prone to a lot of infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, and even HIV. So I would urge every woman to take very good care of your female reproductive system. Thank you for watching this episode. My name is and will always be Akosia underscore the nurse. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have already, don't forget to hit the bell to get the notification anytime I upload something. Thank you.